Suhu udara di Amerika Serikat dan belahan bumi utara pada umumnya mulai mendingin. Beralihnya kegiatan ke dalam ruangan sering menyuburkan berbagai penyakit yang menular lewat pernafasan, termasuk influenza. In the fall and winter months, we tend to start seeing cases peaking up. They can occur earlier than that, but typically during those times because we have schools starting up again for one, students returning back to college and little kids going back to school, so we have increase in crowds. And particularly this year, because we're coming out of COVID-19, we have more folks back in the workplace than we did uh, last year. So we are anticipating to have more increases in flu cases. Musim influenza dua tahun sebelumnya relatif ringan, tapi kali ini ahli medis khawatir akan terjadi lonjakan kasus flu. We are expecting this to be a challenging season simply because we're not no longer um, social distancing and uh, we've opened up our businesses again and more folks have come back into the workplace. So uh, we need to be really prepared for a rough flu season. Kekhawatiran ini juga berdasarkan pengalaman negara-negara di belahan bumi selatan yang mengalami musim dingin pada pertengahan tahun. We sort of look to our friends in the southern hemisphere and, and look to what they've just been through. You know, they've had Australia, New Zealand have had flu seasons that are century are to pre-pandemic levels. Isolasi selama pandemi COVID juga membuat daya tahan tubuh tak sekuat biasanya. The fact that flu hasn't been here for a couple of years really has changed the uh, for the population immunity to flu. You know, not not only that overall we just haven't been exposed to as much so the population immunity has dropped, but you know, we've got kids who are now maybe you know, two years older getting their first exposure to flu than typical. Saran dari ahli medis segera vaksinasi melawan influenza sambil juga mendapatkan booster vaksin COVID bivalen yang dirancang untuk melawan varian Omicron yang musim dingin lalu menyebar luas di Amerika Serikat. Aktivitas musim gugur warga Amerika Serikat apakah seputar Halloween pada akhir Oktober atau apalagi pada akhir November dengan mudik Thanksgiving biasanya melibatkan kegiatan beramai-ramai dengan keluarga atau teman. Karena itu baru-baru ini Gedung Putih menyarankan agar sebanyaknya warga AS melakukan vaksinasi booster melawan COVID menggunakan vaksin bivalen bersamaan dengan vaksinasi rutin untuk influenza. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.